In this video, we provide the solution to question number eight for the practice exam number three for math 1060. We're asked to find all the solutions to the equation two cosine of two theta plus the square root of three equals zero. And we wanna do this in the interval uh, zero, theta ranges from zero to 360 degrees. So we're gonna solve this in degrees here. Let's first solve for the trigonometric function. We're gonna subtract the square root of three from both sides. So we get two cosine of two theta equals negative root three. Uh, we divide both sides by two. We get cosine of two theta equals negative root three over two. And so we want to think of when does cosine equal negative root three over two? It is cosine of two theta. So we might be thinking of using like a, a double angle identity of some kind. That'll actually just make life more complicated for us. Uh, let's just think of it as we've changed the period. So cosine is equal to negative negative in the second and third quadrant. When is it equal to root three over two? Again, in we're doing this in degrees. Well, cosine will equal positive root three over two in the first quadrant. That happens at a 30 degree angle. So we're looking for those angles that reference 30 degrees in the second and third quadrant. And so that's gonna be 150 degrees plus 360K. That's in the second quadrant because that's 180 minus 30 degrees. Then we have to do 180 plus 30 degrees, which is 210 plus 360. Right, but that's not equal to theta, that's equal to two theta. So to solve for theta, we have to divide this by two, in which case 150 divided by two is 75 degrees. Then you get 180K, like so. And then we have to also take 210 and divide that by two as well. 210 divided by two is gonna give us 105. And then we have to also add 180 to that as well. Okay, so we definitely need to find an answer which includes 75 and 105. We see choice B has that. Notice that 255, that's 150 plus 180. Sorry, that's sorry, that's 75 plus 180. And then 285 is 105 plus 180. So the correct answer would then be choice B.